Check out more videos in my So You Want to Be a Singer series. There are over 100 free videos for you, and I will link that somewhere at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, coming to you with another So You Want to Be a Singer. Why you want to do that? <laughs> Family, I just ran in the door and dropped my bags. I just got off the train and I was thinking about this, um, making this So You Want to Be a Singer. And I know this series has not been as popular over the last year or two, but I just know that there are people who need this information because if they didn't need it, it would not be coming to my mind. So I'm going to continue to do my So You Want to Be a Singer videos for you. I hope you will spread it out to those people who you know need the information. But in the meantime, if it just helps a few people, I feel like I have... Like they say that each one teach one, I feel like that I have done my job. But I want to call this So You Want to Be a Singer. Do it while you're young. And why do I say that? I was having a discussion with a few friends. We're all performers, singers, actors, dancers. And one had gone to a symposium with Brenda Braxton, who's a Broadway diva, Tony nominated for Smokey Joe's Cafe. And she's been doing theater. She went to perform in arts high school in uh, New York. And she, fresh out of high school, had been, you know, auditioning and performing and doing Broadway. And she started out right out of school, right? And a lot of people have done that out of high school, not even out of college. I also, as a performer, came to New York when I was 22. Of course, I went to performing arts high school in Cleveland, Ohio. Then I went on to college and I left college to go to Chicago and then come to New York. But anyway, I was still pretty young at 22, moving to New York City to start auditioning for shows. And I say that you guys should really try to do it when you're young. I know a lot of people's parents don't want to get them into acting or dancing or singing. They say those who aren't supportive say that they, you don't really make a good living or it's so competitive, blah, 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 than the other. But if it's your passion, you have to relate to your family that this is really what I want to do. And I have a, the whole series of videos talking about it. And you can lead them to it if you really need to and say, listen, this guy has been performing for 40 years or whatever. And look how excited he is. Look, he's living in New York. Look, he's still performing, you know, and all this. And I am still have such a passion for the work. It has not been perfect. There's been ups and downs, but there's nothing that you are going to do that is not going to have ups and downs. The important thing is that you are doing something that you feel like you are called to do, something that you have a passion for, something that excites you to get out of bed every day. And if you decide to start this out when you are young, fresh out of high school, fresh out of college, I mean, if your family wants to pay for college, then let them pay for college. But if you're someone who doesn't have the money for college, you know, you don't really have the money for a trade school, you got all this talent, maybe you've done some training in school, done some theater, done, then take a year off and start auditioning, start performing. You can always go back to school once you've made your money as a performer, or you may blow up and become a huge actor or a Broadway star or, you know, a Grammy nominated singer before you even even get your degree but if you do it while you're young when you get in your 30s and your 40s and your 50s you hopefully have all this experience all this knowledge you've traveled you've worked on these different productions you've worked with people who are now maybe famous you know who maybe you're friends with who can help you later on get a little something going on you know if you decide to go into some other part of the business maybe they that have something where they can help you get in but you do it while you're young also and I'm not saying don't start it when you're older because some people but if you go ahead and do it, you have all these years as a youth. Let me just go from my saying. I went to high school and did a little college and I came to New York and I started auditioning and started booking shows. I got to do, before I was tethered to someone, before maybe I was going to have kids, before I'm married, before I'm all in love and I have to do a car payment and have a, a house mortgage, I got to travel the world. I got to go to a, over 150 cities and maybe 10 countries in the world. And this was touring with shows, Dream Girls, Smokey Joe's Cafe, and you get your gun. I did two or three, I did three children's theater tours that did like 60 cities a piece. I got to see the world. I got to experience and experience. Experiment. I got to do what I love to do and meet other people who were doing it because they love to do it. Not just for the money, but because this is what they want to do with their lives. And you make these connections that you will have sometime for the rest of your life also. But if you do it while you're young, you don't have that worry later on. You know, if you are unsuccessful, then you can go on and go back to college to train for something. You can go on and start another career in another thing. You can always start a new career, but when you're younger, you have more flexibility as a person to go out and just do things and to try things and, and, and you, you're more fearless in your auditioning and in your performing and your choices sometimes as an actor or a singer or a dancer. You can, like I said, do it when you're older, 
but if you have that experience when you're young, then you 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 know what you want to do. By the time you hit 30, 35, you know, okay, I want to continue this. I really am enjoying it. Or maybe, you know, it's a little too competitive. Maybe I want to be a director. Maybe I want to be a stagehand. Maybe I want to be an artist manager. Maybe I want to become an agent. There are all kinds of other little ways that you can be involved in the arts without being a performer being in front of the camera, being on the stage. But sometimes you don't find those things out unless you have seen them happening around you while you are actually on the stage. You see all these different positions that there are to work and to do in the industry that will still keep you doing and involved in your passion. Okay, y'all can see I'm just all excited. I just, I'm gonna finish it here. If you have any direct or, or specific questions that you might want to ask me, let me know down in the comments. This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. I hope this didn't wander too much. I hope it was inspirational and I hope it was informative. Thanks guys for watching. I am out. <laughs>